Hello and welcome to episode 21. Um, so just now, or in the previous episode, which for me was just now, um, we made it so that we had one robot uh, mining down there, um, and we changed this computer up here um, so that it would keep running uh, after one robot had sent it something, or it had sent a job to one robot. Uh, I'm just going to test that real quick now. Um, so I'm going to start this guy up. Because I haven't actually tested that yet. And this guy over here, he's still set up nicely. Um, before I run him, let me just tell you what I've done in the meantime. Um, I put a bunch of uh, wireless mining bots here. Put, lined them all up. Um, I grabbed another disk drive and I put it where this block is right now. And um, I copied the quarry program from the disk that is uh, in here over to disk 2, which is um, the other disk drive. If you have two disk drives next to a computer or a turtle, it will name the second one disk 2, and then copied it over to there, named it Quarry as well. Um, did that a bunch of times and added those disks into all of these disk drives here. So each turtle has its own disk. Um, then the only other thing I had to do was uh, edit the starting coordinates. So only the Z coordinate is different for these bots. They're all on the same line, on the same height. Um, they all have a different Z coordinate though, so every time, every next robot has a Z coordinate that is two lower than the previous. So we set at 51, 49, 47, and so forth. Um, so that's all set up now. Um, we're running the manager up there. I'm just going to um, uh, disk. I will run Quarry. That seems to be working nicely. Now this guy should still be online here. He's waiting for another turtle. Good. So he's given away a job and he's waiting for another turtle. So what we could do is grab this guy and also type in Cory and he'll be getting another job as well. Now hopefully this should be working correctly. Yeah, there we go. So the first job was at minus 182, 314. The next job was at minus 182, 303. So these guys should be mining side by side in a second. Um, but we'll have to wait a minute until we get there. <coughs> now in the meantime, um, this is kind of a annoying process, the whole, you know, clicking on a robot, typing quarry, then letting it go. What would be really useful is if we could just place it and have it just start immediately and go. And you may have guessed by now that yes, that is possible, and that's what we're going to be doing this video after we've checked on these guys. Um, so because they start at a certain height, uh, this guy's going to be mining air for a while, as is this guy. Um, but this is a demonstration. They are both mining on their own patch, and we could add as many as we like, and they would all get sorted very nicely. Now for the moment, I'm just going to bring these guys back, because we're going to be doing a little bit more programming. And I need them. Do -do -do. This is kind of annoying. When they're moving, they're not easy to mine. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now what you can do um, is create a startup script. Now what that does is when you have a computer or a turtle and you uh, switch it on, it will automatically search for a startup script and run that immediately. Now here's how you create one. Um, we'll go to disk again. Now you can put it on the disk, it'll also search the disk. Now all you have to do is create a program called startup. And when you place the turtle, it will immediately look for a program called startup, either on its own uh, memory or on the disk. Um, but the one on the disk will have priority, I believe. So if there's two startup scripts, one on the turtle itself, one on the disk, it'll run the one on the disk. Um, but that's just details, not that interesting. Now what we need to do is actually run the query program from here. And to do that, um, you go os.run, and then you type in the name of the... There we go. Um, type in the name of the program, which in our case is quarry. And just to be uh, safe, I would type in slash disk 
uh, slash query, and uh, then you know it's on the right, looking at the right location. But because we're already in disk, it will probably do it right if you just type in query. But I'm just gonna check this to so be sure. Um, now we're gonna have to place this guy again. So let's try that. Now I, I <laughs> I'm not entirely sure whether this was actually the right the right way of doing this, so this might not work. Um, right, so maybe you don't need to type it as a string. This is something I should have looked up on the internet before I started recording. Yeah, I know you... Damn it. Um... At least it's running it, so that's good. So maybe we don't need the quotation marks, that might be a possibility. Okay, so we'll try this again. <laughs> Unexpected symbol, okay. So I'm going to just go and uh, head and cheat because I have no idea. Um, oh, my Facebook's open. Oh, my mail's open. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, computer craft. Um, OS API, I guess. It is OS run. Oh, God. So we got to do the. Christ. We'll see uh, the example. Okay. So we need one more variable, which I did not know. And you do need quotation marks around this, so I did actually get that right initially. So what this is, is this is the set of um, variables you can give to a program, um, but our one doesn't have any, so it's going to be empty for us. So you just put in two empty curly brackets, and that's it. So hopefully this will actually work now. So I'm going to destroy this guy one more time. Oh, there you go, job out. There we go. We didn't actually do anything. We just placed him and he's and he's going. That's good. So let me just grab him real quick. Alright, let me just not grab him real quick. Um So now we just need to do that for every single one. Mm, it's gonna take a little while, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So run. It is one more time. Um. Let me just check I did this correctly here. Got the slash in front of disk. <coughs> there we go. All right, so we can do this for every single um, every single uh, bot over here. And all you have to do from now on is place the bot, and it'll automatically start up and uh, go. At least. Oh, you do have to click on it to start it up, of course. Yep. So it doesn't do it completely automatically. You do have to right click on it. Um, but once that's done, then uh, it'll go and uh, start mining for you. So we have it now. We're pretty we're actually done. Um, I'm not going to do this for every single one in this video, but um, you can imagine you can do this for as many as you like. And uh, this central computer here will keep track of uh, what the last spot was or the last job it was it gave away, and it will update that and um, 
it will create a nice little grid with all your bots doing all the mining. So um, yeah, we're we're actually done. And after this, um, I think I'm going to do a little more fancy things, um, like registering how many bots you have and what their IDs are. So we're going to expand the central computer a little bit and make it a little bit more clever, rather than just randomly giving out jobs to anyone, and not keeping track of you know who's actually doing something or not, or where they're doing something. So. Um, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time when we do some more interesting things.